Hello guys, I'm back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, connect to MongoDB using uh, Spring Boot. Alright, okay, let's get started. First, we need to create our Spring Boot application as always. We go to Spring Initializer website. So we choose the project, Maven project, the version of Spring Boot 243. Then uh, the name of our project, let's call it uh, MongoDB CRUD. Okay, demo. Okay, the version is jar. Ah, packaging is jar, version is 8, dependency is web. Okay, let's generate. Okay. So there we go, Mongo CRUD demo. Okay. There we go. Then we open it in our project. Uh, we open it using our IDE rather. Download Mongo. This one. Mongo CRUD demo. Okay. Just click next. Next. We don't need the wrapper and the test. We just uh, need to load the main Java. Click, just click next 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 finish then new window right so this is our uh, uh, template project okay the first step we need to do is uh, add the dependency for mongodb so what dependency is that I have it already let me copy and paste so it's a spring boot basically starter project for mongodb right so after uh, adding the dependency Uh, we need to do some configuration also. Wait, we need to load the project, even project. Let's check first our dependency if it's there. There should be a Mongo DB here. Okay, this is the driver for Mongo DB. Okay. So the dependency is there already. So after adding the dependency, we need to do some configuration for MongoDB. So let me tap and paste the required configurations. So basically, uh, when you uh, set up uh, MongoDB, uh, basically there is a default admin database and the default also when you create a setup at mongodb the default username is username and the password is password so these are all the defaults so you don't need to the create username or password there is some default so for demo purpose i just use the default uh, uh, database and uh, uh, username and password okay but uh, you can also uh, create a new uh, I mean you can create your own database also because the admin one this one is uh, uh, the system database so uh, if you want to create a uh, 
a database which is specific to your requirements so you can also uh, define here then the court and uh, the the IP where you install your uh, MongoDB server okay okay uh, let me uh, start first my MongoDB server check it uh, uh, in my case I deploy my MongoDB server in Kubernetes so you don't have to do the same you can uh, uh, install it in docker using docker or you can even install it in your local or whatever as long as you can access it okay let me check the service give ctl get service so this is my mongodb okay uh, we need to since it, it, uh, my mongodb is deployed in kubernetes so by default it's not uh, accessible outside kubernetes so i need to uh, generate external ip to make it accessible ex outside kubernetes okay so mainly mini cube uh, service this is the command to generate external IP for uh, MongoDB I'm doing it to make the MongoDB accessible because we need to connect to MongoDB right in our Spring Boot application so in my case since I deploy my MongoDB in Kubernetes I need to do the, I need to do something like this okay MongoDB Minikube service MonoDB okay alright where is it so now uh, this is the uh, external IP and uh, this is the port that I'm going to use to access to be able to connect to this MongoDB Okay. All right. Let me see a bit. Let me double check. One two seven zero zero one, and the port is five one 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 nine. Okay. So the default, I use the default uh, username and password, and I want to uh, store my data to this uh, database. Okay. So after configuring our mongodb then we need to create an entity let's say uh, let's say customer we will going to save the customer record in our mongodb okay i let me do, copy and paste my customer entity right so basically we need to always uh, uh, define the ID in our case uh, we create ID this will serve as our key record key all right then we need to uh, this one is optional we can create a generate a constructor Okay, so that's then after uh, we create the entity class for our MongoDB, we need to create also a repository uh, or an interface to uh, to perform some CRUD operation in our MongoDB. Okay, so interface customer repo this is a repository okay so our this interface need to extend uh, the mongodb interface this one okay 
Okay. So basically, uh, we just need to extend the Mongo repository, and the Spring Boot starter project will Kate uh, will provide the implementation. As you remember earlier, we added some dependency. This one. This dependency contains the implementation of that interface, right? Okay. So now we are going to uh, perform some CRUD operation. First, let me uh, add some REST uh, endpoint. Okay. Uh, add get mapping. For testing purpose, we we add this endpoint. Yes. So of the while, we need to uh, call the interface that we cr uh, created. Customer repo. All right. So as you can see here, the the in is this is a, just an interface right S but uh, we can uh, reuse the uh, existing API using that uh, interface for example save See? customer we can define some customer here So we save this data to our MongoDB okay, server that we retrieve also. Retrieve find all. Return also after saving it to uh, our MongoDB, we we will retrieve also it from our MongoDB. Okay, but uh, let me define the two string in here. So we want to override the two string implementation so basically if we call the to string method it will this uh, return the content of the customer uh, object okay so here so I want if I call this uh, basically uh, repo find all with the uh, the uh, theme the record from the MongoDB server then after retrieving it uh, this this method will return the customer uh, object right then the customer object uh, we will display it using this uh, to string method okay so let me run our application uh, let, let me rebuild it first Okay. 
okay then run oh we got some error here because we have existing that may uh, kill the existing uh, application because uh, there is some conflict with the port okay we run again okay there we go so we expect uh, let's trigger first this endpoint to test our repository API. Localhost 80 test. Oops, sorry. Let me debug it. Takes time, takes some time. So basically, uh, this uh, customer object uh, has been pushed or has been saved already to our MongoDB, right? Now this line will re will will retrieve the record from MongoDB. So this should return uh, the customer object to our uh, web page, right? So let me check. I'm expecting Tina, right? Tina something. There we go. This one. Tina that. This is the one we uh, pushed to MongoDB just now. Okay. So, at, so uh, our uh, MongoDB CRUD operation is uh, successful. So I think that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you again and happy learning. Bye bye.